Good morning. Doing a little update. I uh, built this uh, forge, and uh, it's been a long, uh, rather arduous task for me because I actually uh, built this. I built it first in 1978. It didn't look like this, and it, and it was really your basic uh, rivet forge. And then, uh, as you can see, the sides here uh, were actually higher, and uh, they went up to here. And it was actually too deep. So in 2000, which was over 20 years later, I rebuilt this thing again and cut it all the way down to this. Uh, you can see I welded it back together, but I had it. So it was only about a an inch, inch and a half here. But it was still your basic rivet forge. And, you know, you can heat up a uh, half inch round bar and stuff like that. But you can't really, the firebox wasn't there. It was flat. And uh, it just uh, wouldn't work. I mean, it, it does work, but you're fighting it all the time. So anyway, I, I researched a little bit and found out you're supposed to have a firebox and and so I just rebuilt this one and this is my firebox. Now it's only a couple inches deep. It's your standard, it's over 10 inches wide, but uh, uh, I had fired it up last night for the first time and I got my little uh, antique blower. This is an old buffalo. Got the the tweeor underneath which is nice those are pretty hard to find I uh, but I built all of this fired it up last night and and it does work better I say it does work better uh, this is I, I put it on my uh, trailer with a, a receiver right there so this can be moved around uh, at this point I got I don't know about 18, 19 receivers around the trailer. It goes all the way around uh, to put my different tools wherever I want to put them. And uh, but anyway, back to the the forge was I actually did a little research and I found out I'm I'm no expert on this obviously, but I found out what's really happening is. Uh, the firebox to to be a minimum of a of a real firebox. Uh, there, now there's a lot of guys on on YouTube that will show you how to do this, but this one here is uh, it's it's ten inches this way, eight inches this way, and five inches deep. So this one is. actually what the firebox should look like so what I'm gonna I, I'm building another forge and uh, like uh, man I wish I know I remember that guy's name but the gentleman said that uh, what you need is uh, volume high volume uh, air you don't want pressure you want volume so this hole in the middle at the bottom is four inches square so what I'm going to use, I'm going to build my own tweeor. That's this right here. This is three and a half inch sked 40, which three and a half inch sked 40 pipe is four inches ID, which would be perfect, which which gives me almost the whole uh, bottom of the firebox uh, where I put the perforations to come through. Went down about a, another piece here, and this is the uh, is this one right here is the blower I'm going to use which is uh, actually bigger than that other blower so I'm thinking maybe I'll get a higher volume of air without the pressure and uh, we're going to see if I can actually have a real uh, forge that will actually work without struggling all the time and in the meantime here's that old uh, Buffalo Forge uh, 
small table camelback that I that I had and now I've mounted that on a receiver too uh, I built I don't know five uh, little workstations here that I can move around I, I also have uh, this uh, blower this this one's really nice this one here is actually um, a uh, this will run off the line shaft. I've already built the receiver for it, and uh, and it will go. I, I got it set up to to, to go to this the uh, receiver here, and I actually put more of these nuts on. I put three in front, three in back, so that I can uh, get a little slight amount of adjustment out of it. And if we go straight up, it'll be right above my line shaft. So I'm thinking about putting a little jack shaft up here to control this one and uh, run that little blower off my line shaft. I haven't got to the point of, uh, of figuring out exactly how I'm going to uh, do it, but uh, I could make uh, some piping over to another uh, forge and actually run my forge off the line shaft. I'm not sure how that's going to work out. I'll probably have to have control on the uh, tweeer or the uh, air pipe to uh, control the heat because you turn that on, it's on all the time. I'll just uh, go around the trailer and show you uh, some of the little tools I put on. This one right here is a really nice uh, Vulcan 6-inch uh, pipe chain vise and this one is a a, a crown which uh, is a one-sided pretty nice old uh, pipe vise that I picked up I don't know 40 40 years ago or so this is another oddball pipe vise this one uh, Runs, works by uh, picking up the arms. It's one on each side. Oh yeah, I want to show this. I I did get uh, my support structure set up for for the uh, little star lathe, and uh, this just bolts on and comes off. But uh, I put a, a plate on both sides just uh, running it with a uh, quarter 20 bolts so I put three on on each side to hold it I'm sure that would be enough it's uh, probably more there just for transporting when I'm driving down the road but I wanted it nice and uh, stable and uh, here's another this little uh, this old chain, I mean, uh, pipe vise, came out of the Salida Blacksmith Shop uh, here in Central California, which was an old redwood building, and and, and I think it was uh, went all the way back to the uh, late Gold Rush era, and uh, I was able to to get that. Uh, uh, the uh, there was a gentleman there. Who was there for years and years and years, and he got old and passed away. I actually bought this back in the 70s, so I've had this really a long time too. Then this is just another workstation. Got my little sander up there. Now this is this right here. I built this out so when we go to the uh, shows, have a place to kick your feet up. This is a like an ottoman to uh, kick back and rest. I made it so that you could have a, a person from either side relax, enjoy yourself. I got a, a couple, three uh, bench grinders up here, which will uh, run off of the line shaft. They're lined up here, and we're exactly on the other side from that blower. And I did the same thing over here. I, I put extra um, 
nuts for a slight adjustment in case the belt don't want to track. Give me a little bit of help. And uh, I did my uh, couple of little more workstations over here. And we're coming along pretty good. So I'm just uh, hanging out in my backyard, uh, staying away from everybody. Uh, because that uh, coronavirus seems to have everybody really uh, 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 desperate, I'd say. Uh, I'd say it's kind of staying away from the stores and uh, just enjoying myself back here. Well, if you got any comments, let me know. Talk to you later. Bye.